Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. We're doing an episode today of another top video. Uh, here I think it's a top five video of things in which that I believe that should be changed, fixed, modified, or done to the game in ways in which that will make the game I think a little bit more uh, balanced in some ways and uh, also enjoyable and I guess easier for new guys like myself who got into the game and then left the game because it was too hard initially. So things in which I think are general improvements. Now this doesn't necessarily mean you know high level stuff necessarily. We're talking about low level things, mid level things I think that would really truly really help the game. Um, and these are some ideas that I got from some people both in game and on our Facebook groups and uh, discords and other things to give me some of these ideas. And this is in no particular order. Let's start off with number one. Fix the tutorial. Or actually add one for the game in the early parts of the game that doesn't include leaving the main city. Now, ironically enough, if you've been playing the game long enough, you know that it used to be this way. It used to be that the entire tutorial was based in your home base city. In Seville, in Venice, in Marseille, in London, in Amsterdam those places used to have a school and you can actually still see them on the maps where school is now I'm in Calicut so you're not gonna see it but there used to be a symbol here marked for school and that's where you went to do all your exams and classes and generally some of the same quests that you'd see today in Sagers so that doesn't mean that we should go back to the old way I don't think the old way was very user-friendly also, I don't believe these walls of text that we get and these interruptions we get when we play the game to be very helpful. It would be very useful, I think, if there was a similar leveling progression system um, and questing and tutorial system, kind of like there is in some other games where like, when you start the game, you are created in an instance, like a special location of the game in which that once you complete the region, then you go to your main city or if your main city doesn't allow you to leave a certain area until you complete a, for a certain amount of quests and tasks also you need to have quests and tasks that actually I don't know teach you what you're doing in ways in which that makes sense a lot of this is just a point-and-click game and reading a bunch of text there should be some actual um, real explanation maybe with some cutscenes and videos Hence why I do what I do, to help train people on how to use the game's features, especially the early game features. There's a lot to explain, there's a lot of details, there's a lot of questions involved that just don't get answered. And sometimes you get information overload to the point where you don't know if you should even be worried about something early game. Then you gotta have someone who's you know not a newbie to the game tell you what you're doing is to, you know, high level. I mean, I just watched a video of uh, Strife uh, pretty much do everything wrong. He didn't do any of the things he saw, what he thought was a tutorial, and started doing it, and then he started ship raising uh, a ship um, with a barca. Like, you're gonna do that. And that's no. Like, I get it, there are some ways that some, it allows you to do too much without getting any explanation and without you know, without it like just lets you go on your own and figure it out. So there needs to be something that holds you in place, reins you in, and, and gradually releases new content to you until you've mastered it. Right now, it's a free for all. You get a Sagers, and everyone just tells you to finish questing and do all these quests, and then everyone has to explain everything to you. Not very user friendly, but hey, it did allow me to create a whole bunch of tutorial videos that I may end up redoing again in the future to have them a little bit more refined. <sighs> That winded me. Number two. Uh, making questing, questing from the main cities that take you along a production skill path. Where to get to, where to get um, books and play the way um, ranking up. So kind of like what questing would do if you're doing like early tutorial stuff. Like have something that actually guides you through the progression of skills. You know, so that you learn what each skill does and which three jobs there are and how you level them up and what you do. Same thing here. If you're going to do a production skill, such as cooking, maybe it's just not be like, hey, there's production skills, now what do you do? Okay, find a book. Where? 
How about you give them a book? Should give them items. Give them, like, have someone give you things and say, hey, if you want to make flour, here's some wheat and here's a book to make flour. Boom. You've learned how to make flour. Hand in the quest. Get experience. Money. Like, all of that makes sense. Progressions of early games quest skills are, are great if you have something guiding you. And that would be great for even the more complex ones like shipbuilding and a few others. Where they are, if they exist in this game, I don't know where to find those. I've done everything about my production skills without any quests. Like, just being told this is what you do and doing it. So, something I think that should change is questing from both for newbies in the early game tutorials as well as also for the production skills. Number three. Oh, this is kind of going off number two. Making a shipbuilding tutorial or quest line. On its own, it's probably the most complex part of the game. Shipbuilding quest lines would be great to show you how to do it. Maybe give you some quests in which, like, hey, since you're building quests, maybe you need to build a particular ship and deliver it to somebody someplace. And that gives you boosts to your skill rank. So that way you're not just sitting there grinding 40,000 barkas to make things like this is a grind with my Chuck Thunder character to just get anywhere with my um, shipbuilding. I am seeing, let's see where I am with shipbuilding at the moment. I am rank three and it's been a grind to get here. I feel like I've made a thousand ships at this point. I've tried finding tutorials showing you guys how to do it, uh, even in the base understanding. And then there's like guides. Great, but that's just so much. Like there should be something anything that gives you rewards for doing questing or do, do does for shipbuilding like in a quest line anything at all and that goes for all really complex uh, production skills but shipbuilding the most number four make leveling easier or faster for like the first 25 levels granted if you're doing school you will hit level 20 to 25 relatively easily but I think that if you're going to be doing changing this whole tutorial process the way that I think it should be done, you need to make it so that it gets you to 25 relatively quickly. Um, and if you have anybody who likes to forego the tutorials, we should be able to forego the tutorial. But I like now it doesn't make sense to not do the tutorials and do seekers because you get good items and good rewards. But the same thing should be when it comes to leveling. Like it should be rewarding. It should be quick. It should be easy but at the same time not so fast to the point where you're not learning everything so I think there should be a faster leveling like give anybody who the first 25 levels like a 100% experience boost that would be great that way people who make alts can also do a little bit quicker too um, maybe reward those who manage to get past level 25 and reach level 50 that when they create alternate tunes um, that they get a, an extra experience boost as well just anything permanent experience boosts too like not like for two weeks like permanently until you're level 25 across the board that would be great and last but not least another one that I've come up with here is fix the economy and make certain productions profitable again I don't know what this truly entails to fix the economy I hear there are things that cost billions of ducats I hear things cost all, the people won't even do billions of ducats and they'll only do captain's tickets for trade. This economy should not be functioning off of people who's selling in-game things and cash money things only just for captain's tickets. People don't want to spend the money to buy captain tickets. I've never played a single dollar into this game. I'm not going to do that just so I can get captain's tickets so that I can get that really cool ship that I like. There needs to be something some way that you could fix the economy so that captain tickets are not the new dollar it's insane but i don't know what that answer is going to be maybe you guys can leave some comments in the description below and tell me what you think might fix the economy on the large scale that's not something i'm familiar with it used to be that spices and ea goods were the only ways to make buku bucks and then some shipbuilding now it seems to be cracking open boxes getting captain tickets and selling them and also selling those special ships you get from the the, uh, the shop but also productions need to be more profitable there was a time where cooking was reasonably profitable now it's not because everyone could just go get bagels and can them 
the process of canning isn't something that I don't think isn't a good thing for necessarily um, for cooking, but the bagels thing just being given away in these uh, reward boxes just seems to be killing the economy for cooking. Clerks are another thing that I think are killing, econ uh, killing the economy of cooking because a lot of people just go to the clerk and buy everything they need. Now, clerk has limited resources and you need more if you want to go out and have high vigor foods. But there needs to be something that cooking people who spend all the time grinding the cooking skill can sort of benefit so that they could profit off it too. I mean, I sell seafood pizzas and I can sell salted fish with nuts, you know, for anywhere between 25 to 70 K for whoever's paying for it for, you know, but that's, that's overpaying. Like, you know, I don't even know what the process right number is because there's nobody selling food anymore. There used to be people all the time selling food. Now would it, nobody sells it. Now it's just whatever I say I want to sell it for and just hope that it sells. Uh, I have to do the math to figure out what kind of time and money investment that I made into making it so that I make my money back, you know, buying the ingredients to do it. So that money is just not there. And in order to do it, it needs to be a harder bar of entry to do cooking and make things exclusive for cookers that you can't just open from a box. So anyways, uh, those are my five things I think that I could add, uh, that I think should be added to the game to make it better. And they're not things that are going to necessarily have solutions for, and anything could be done immediately, but these are my thoughts, these are my opinions. If you have any of your own opinions and you'd like to uh, subscribe and comment below, that would be great, I do appreciate it. Everybody who's stuck around with me so far through this last year, uh, it's been great. You guys have truly made this an experience for me to, for creating these videos for this game. And it's been wonderful. Thanks for all the support, everyone. It's me, Chuck Thunder, signing out.